Yara aren't gonna stop attacking anytime soon. I need to get back.
quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Vigilance is right through the shield! Ragnarok is here. They know what that means for Asgard. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. Brothers, how did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Nupti did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then, the beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to. After everything they've been through, they have to, don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack. Oh, 
So, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Father, look out! I think that's their leader! Oh, I fell that one, brother! Find The armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. 
And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion, a siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors, I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Hildy, come join us. Have a seat. I miss anything? I was just telling him about the time I asked you to play damsel in distress. <laughs> okay, then... <laughs> then, when she had them distracted, I jumped in, heroic. And together, we took them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but... I do envy you. <laughs> In what realm? Spare me the patronizing. I've calculated every risk I've ever taken. Tried to mitigate all the ways it could go wrong. And still, it all falls apart. You, you just throw yourself into situations in harm's way. And somehow it always works out for you. You always end up all right with that stupid grin. I'd argue. My trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning. And others by learning to adapt. That's why you choose such a great team. I don't it's because we had such a lousy old man. Son, it's true Njord was not much of a father. But he's the reason we were able to be a family. Yeah, funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason to believe you. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight?
You must quiet your mind. I can't. When I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he, He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? Mm. In my 
my land. We entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. In circumstance, yes. But not in purpose. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Faye, you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters.
Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? <laughs> 